Hello everyone. So on today's video, I want to see if my um, computer, which has a um, Z97, an ASUS Z97 Pro uh, motherboard on it, could detect my M.2 NVMe, which is connected to a PCI Express X4 port on my computer so the way my M.2 NVMe is connected is through a PCI Express M.2 NVMe SSD adapter so I'm not using an M.2 NVMe port on the computer that's already being used so I just want to see if it's possible for me to boot from the M.2 NVMe. So I'll be testing two computers, this one and another one which has an ASUS H97M motherboard. I'm gonna press F2 to go into the BIOS. Now, as you can see here on the boot menu, right now these are the boot devices that I have set up. I want to see if I could see my M.2 NVMe in there. I could see this. The one um, that I have connected on that uh, PCIe M.2 NVMe adapter is the Fansiong S500 Pro 1TB. M.2 NVMe SSD so it I am able to boot from this without any type of special thing I don't need a I don't need a bootloader I'm just able to boot from this if I want to so now I want to check my other computer I want to go in here and exit which is the same generation of motherboard actually I'm gonna turn that computer on I'm gonna go in here press F2 here and this is the ASUS H97 and here I have two um, M.2 NVMe's in here. The first one is a Western Digital N55. I think it's an N500 M.2 NVMe SSD. So as you can see, I have two of them. One here, one here, and the storage devices that I have on this computer are two M.2 NVMe Western Digital S500 SSDs and I have two Western Digital one terabyte hard drives and that's all I got in this machine and also a optical drive which is a DVD-RW, which is an SH2440 DV. So I'm detecting all four devices. So I'm able to boot from my PCIe Express M.2 NVMe adapter, as you can see. I can see it. So if I can see it, I can boot from it. If it's not there, then it can't be booted from. And I'll show you that this computer is indeed different from the last one that I showed. As you can clearly see that it is not the same. So I have both computers connected to a KVM and let me go in here.
I do not have a DVR on this computer. I do have it on the other one. And I'll show you that this is indeed the computer that I say it is. Let's go to Device Manager. This computer has a i7-4790 processor. The other one has a i7-4790K processor. So I have two machines which have which use the same type of motherboard from the same generation, but they're not the same. The other one is more expensive, which is a Asus Z97 Pro. And this one is a Asus H97M. M meaning micro ATX. And the graphics card I have in here is a NVIDIA GeForce R GTX 970. The other one is a GeForce GTX RT GeForce RTX 3060. So th these are not the same computers. And I'll show you the storage devices on this machine. C drive is the M.2 NVMe Western Digital. D drive and E drive are the one terabyte hard drives. G drive is my um, M.2 NVMe Western Digital, the other one. And I, as I clearly stated before, there are four storage devices and one optical drive, and that's all there is. So let's go on to the other computer. Okay, so now I'm on the Asus Z97 Pro computer. Go to Device Manager. Here's the processor. This is a Intel i7-4790K processor at 4 gigahertz. The other one was a i7-4790 processor at 3.6 gigahertz. And this one has a NVIDIA RTX, GeForce RTX 3060. And the drives, as you can see, I have uh, these drives right here. And you saw this one, this, this one is bootable. But right now I'm not booting from it. Um, This is the one I'm booting from. This one is a Western Digital. I think it's this one right here. This is the one that I'm booting from. This is my uh, M.2 SATA SSD. This is the one that I recently added on a PCI Express M.2 NVMe adapter. So that's the one that I added. And this is this is not connected to an M.2 NVMe port. Because I only have one M.2 NVMe port on this machine, which is basically for this one. The other ones are the other hard drives are one terabyte Western digital hard drives. This is a Seagate three terabyte hard drive. So all the devices that were shown were on that boot list and I'm able to boot from all of them if I wanted to, but I can't because I, I only have an operating system on this one. So as you can see, it is possible to boot from a NV, not an M. Sorry, it's called a PCIe port. If you have an adapter, it's definitely possible to do that with this motherboard. But before you do that, um, before I was able to use M.2 NVMe on this uh, computer and the other one that you saw, which was a Asus H97 Pro, was that I had to, I had to update the BIOS before I was able to use M.2 NVMe. Because before that, I wasn't able to use M.2 NVMe at all. Uh, I was only able to use M.2 
SATA, that's all I was able to use before I updated the BIOS on this motherboard. And I made a video about that and how to use M.2 NVMe and boot from it and everything for this motherboard and the other, other one as well. It's definitely possible to do that. For C drive, this is the most you can get from that M.2 NVMe port after I did the BIOS update. I'm only able to get PCIe 2.0 by 2. That's about 500 megabytes times 2. That's 1 gigabyte. So when I benchmark this drive, I'm able to get about 840 uh, megabytes per second so that's about right on this one however this one is at PCIe 3.0 by 4 so 3.0 gives you a bandwidth of 985 megabytes per lane times 4 that's roughly about 4 gigabytes per second so I'm able to get about anywhere from 3.1 one gigabytes per second to 3.2 gigabytes per second with this M.2 NVMe. In terms of uh, transfer speeds, if I wanted to boot from this, I can. It would be much faster. But for me, I don't care about that. I, I just want to use this to run programs. So that's why I'm setting it up like this. But if you wish to use your um, what you call that? That, that PCIe port. If you want to boot from it with an M.2 NVMe with an adapter, you could do that if you want. That's up to you. But for me, I'm not going to do that. And you could boot into legacy BIOS too. You don't have to boot into, uh, you, you don't have to boot in with a UEFI BIOS. You could boot from UEFI or um, Legacy. And as you as you saw there, it's possible to do both. That's what I want to share with you today. If you have any thoughts or questions, you could leave it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching.